It's our weekly conversation with Milwaukee Admirals head coach Carl Taylor. Coach, six games in nine days to close out the season, three with Rockford, three with Grand Rapids. Um, it's um, it, it, With no playoffs in sight, how does the team approach this? Well, I think it's just the uh, final impression. The players are trying to do the best they can and then allow themselves to present themselves for uh, next season and set themselves up best they can as well as uh, with uh, the teams fighting for playoffs in the NHL. Obviously, Carolina has clinched, and then uh, Nashville is fighting for that last spot. So all these players are probably hoping they get an opportunity to uh, join the team. We'll see how that all plays out in the near future. But, um, hey, we want to win the games. We're all, we're all wired the same way. Uh, we're going to try to do the best we can, and once the puck drops, we'll be looking to, to win some games. What has been the good thing out of this? And we'll probably ask you this again next week when we wind down the season, but what has been the good thing about this season? The, I'm sure many things. Yeah, I would say the, probably the, the best part of it has been the player development and the opportunity to work with the players and the opportunity for the players to get back to playing. So um, it, it's a difficult question to answer when you don't have a team. So sure. um, with all due respect and, and uh, us not having our own squad and, uh, it's been a very uh, different season for our coaching staff, um, but we've tried to make the most of it. We tried to maximize everything we could. And our focus was trying to help the players get better, the best abilities we could. Also building relationships so that when we do get our team back, we're off to the races. Um, but yeah, that we're, we're, we're all looking forward to next season. And, and uh, but we want to wrap up this with a good note. The building relationships. I think that's obviously huge. And, it has still been the case where PTOs and ATOs are coming in to close out the season. So you are getting the opportunity to see some guys that we anticipate will be in Milwaukee next year and, and get to lay that groundwork with those fellows. Yeah, for sure. And, and again, we're not, we don't have our hands on the steering wheel in Chicago. So um, we, we are in a support role. Uh, it's not like we're implementing systems or any of those kinds of things. You know, I'm working with the power play. So, some of the guys that have been on the power play have got a chance to work with me and understand what my thoughts and what I think we should do on the power play to get results that we're looking for. So some of them will have a leg up in certain situations, uh, but, you know, building the relationships for us, it's a big part of how we go about our business in Milwaukee and how our staff operates. And that's been the, the major focus um, as well as developing the players and trying to maximize the best we can out of a situation and, it's a very weird year. And I guess in the end, um, lots of our players have gone on and done very well in, in Nashville. So we're very proud of that. Uh, the team in Chicago has uh, performed uh, fairly well and players have done well. So overall, it's going to be seen as, as a success, I think. But uh, it'll be very fun to turn in the rental van for the daily game. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I have no doubt about that. The American Hockey League is always division centric with its schedule anyway, but this year, obviously, more so. Uh, do you do you make notes? Do you is, is is it has it been like one full year of pre scouting for next season for you when you play Rockford and Grand Rapids and Iowa over and over? Yeah, I think I think for me, it's it's uh, you identify how different coaches operate, and you know how they like their teams to play. Um, so, you know, we've had the same coaches in our division, for mostly for the last two years that I've been here. Uh, so we have a good book on each other. They know how I coach. They know what I expect from my group. They know which buttons to push to get me going and vice versa for me, for them. So um, you always have tendencies, but each year your team's going to change. Are you a veteran team? Are you a young team? Did the coach change his systems? Um, this year, most teams have been very focused on themselves uh, as far as helping individual players improve. Uh, since we've only played five teams all year, maybe six, I'm not sure the exact number. Um, they're, from day one, we felt there wasn't going to be playoffs. So we're, what are you playing for? Uh, we're playing to help the players get better. And so that's been the, the focus. But as a staff, uh, I think – again back to getting to know the players and the relationship building that's going to help us next year and that was the main focus when you get new players coming in and, and i want to touch on zach solo he's a guy who just finished a, a a very good college career uh was a captain of his hockey team how much does this help a player like that to come into this situation well i think it's always very important when you add players again whether they're playing or they're just seeing how the team operates 
I think anything to make the next season easier. And they, uh, they know where the rink is. They know where the hotel is. They know where to eat. They understand how the coaching staff operates. So whether they get the play or not, for Zach, he's been in a situation where he's been thrown into the fire. And he's had a chance to play in a lot of different uh, systems, penalty kill, power play, five on five. Again, it's Carolina's team, so they're running the systems. But he gets to know us and understand how we operate a little bit. Uh, it'll be different once the uh, – the uh, it's not the B squad anymore in the American League. Next year we'll be back to the regular American League and uh, full, full American Hockey League. Uh, so uh, all the young guys who got their feet wet this year, their eyes are going to be open in the fall. You, They'll be very surprised to see the difference in the league, um, in my opinion. Yes. And uh, I think there'll be a little bit of sticker shock and a little time for them to adjust. Um, so as long as they come in with the right attitude, and I expect Zach would be one of the gentlemen that do that, does that, um, and eyes open and ready to learn and, and to execute what we're looking for. Um, we're going to be a young team next year, it seems. And that, if that's the case, then we're going to focus on development and, and winning games because we think they go hand in hand. So how much, and this begs the question, and I'll end with this, when you talk about bringing players in and getting to know where the rink is and how to move around the city and all of this stuff, how much do you anticipate that you'll lean on a guy like Matt Donovan next year, who we know we anticipate will be back in Milwaukee under contract anyway? Yeah, we're uh, having the right veterans is uh, very important to have success. And I'm a guy that likes to turn the room over when, it, when it's appropriate. Uh, I like the guys policing themselves. Uh, don't get me wrong. We put our hands on the wheel when we need to, and we have no problem doing that. But we expect to have the right veterans in place to assist our young players and, and to guide them. Uh, Matt Donovan is a guy who's been here for uh, since uh, the day I got here. So uh, we have a great relationship. I have a lot of respect for what he does and how he operates. Uh, we expect him to come back and play an outstanding season for us. I know him and his family really enjoy, has, have enjoyed his time in Milwaukee and how we operate. Um, like always, the veterans we have will be leaned on and expected to guide, help, push, uh, teach our young guys how to uh, negotiate with the coaching staff, how to get what they need, how to figure out how we run things and what the expectations are. Um, but in all realistic, we'll be starting over in the fall. There's be a lot of turnover. There's going to be a lot of uh, different things that have occurred that have affected the team in different ways. And um, it, it's, it's uh, you're going to be building a new foundation. You know, I thought the first year we built a great foundation. And then last year, uh, the previous season, I should say, um, we had a great year. This year we've been dormant. So obviously that's going to hurt a little bit. And guys have gone on to different places. So uh, that's part of the business. We just have to be prepared to start a new foundation in, in the fall and, and start the process over again. Real quick, again, I apologize for going longer than I said, but building that foundation, that's one of the exciting parts of your job, isn't it? Yeah, I think it can be. It's uh, um, <laughs> when the season gets robbed from you a little bit with COVID and all the things that have happened. So uh, coming in the first year, yeah, I was very excited for that. And we'll get there again too, but uh, every season is different. And uh, the one thing I have learned over my years is that every year starts over. So even yeah. though we did that in the first year, we did, there's some pieces in place. There's some things in place. you got to start over at square one every season. Uh, players forget over the three, four months of the summer and, and uh, you always add new players. So it's really important that everyone feels they're starting at the starting line. Uh, there's not a couple of guys that are further down the street because they've been here before or they have a leg up with the coaching staff, even though that does occur sometimes. So we want everyone to start at the same spot so they all have equal opportunity to race down the road and get what they want out of the season. Um, but the foundation and how we go about our business, that's not going to change very much. Um, but we will have to implement it. We will have to share it. And we will have to communicate it with the with a new team we have in the fall and uh, get ready to accelerate. So hopefully it's a normal year where you have the Nashville camp and get a chance to be around the guys and we start the process early. Uh, we're hoping for that. We're all uh, thinking that's the way it's going to be, but time will tell and we just have to be ready to adapt like we have for the last uh, 18 months. Very good. Coach, always thanks for the time. Thank you. Admiral's head coach, Carl Taylor.